Hey, what's going on, Pisces? Welcome to my channel. This is Brother John Tarot here to do your June 10th through the 15th messages. All right, just a couple of messages here for you. All right, so the moon is in Pisces right now. Well, it, it will be um, June 11th. Also, that's the same day that Pluto goes retrograde in Capricorn. We'll talk about that in just a second. Also, Neptune uh, is in Pisces and it's retrograde right now. And it's also retrograde in Pisces. So let's talk about Pluto retrograde. Pluto retrograde is in 2023, a uh, time of reflection and closure for Pisces. It's an opportunity to heal old friendships and form new ones. You may also revisit, revisit challenging conversations and situations where you didn't express yourself authentically. Pluto is the planet of transformation. When it goes retrograde, it slows transformation down or even reverses it. All right, so that's really important to uh, take a note of. Also, especially during Gemini season, you know, Pisces is two, it's the fish, and then two fish, and then it's uh, Gemini is two, right? So uh, it's just a lot of illusions out there. Things uh, may not be as they appear. All right, so we're gonna see what's happening. What's happening now with uh, Pisces? Give me what's going on with Pisces. Oh, I, I see the devil and the Ten of Cups. Something to do about your happiness or something like that. Don't let your, don't let obsessions, uh, I don't know, don't, <laughs> don't let your obsessions override your happiness, okay? Or, or addictions. All right, what's happening with Pisces? All right, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Death card. Wow, so you can be dealing with the Scorpio here, uh, but this is definitely your energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here is here. So what's happening now is the. I feel like this is somebody has to. Let's see. The Six of Pentacles. Wow, so I feel like somebody may have given somebody something. This is the energy of somebody taking something and dying, possibly. Also, uh, or somebody poisoning someone. Or um, also the energy of uh, transformation. Because, you know, after a death, it's rebirth, right? Or it's, a, it's another another cycle of something. So I feel like something has come to a complete end with possibly a lover or your a mother figure or some water sign, I guess. Uh, and now is the time to, so, so what's also here, wow, look at that, the star card and the three of wands and the three of swords. I feel like somebody wished something here and it came true. So now they're wishing to change it or something like that because the sun card is here. And then we have the three of swords and then we have the three of wands and then the star card, which talks about manifesting. So this, so somebody's doing something all day here. This is an all day event. Somebody is doing this all day and possibly getting money as well too for something. So if somebody is doing some sort of spell work or if this is like a uh, alleged ma magician or spiritual um, high priestess or high priest or something like that, witch warlock that's uh, getting paid to do work or something like that. I feel like uh, it's working, but it's also not effective or something, something has to stop here. <laughs> I just feel like something needs to stop here. Eight of pentacles. Wow. So somebody is still working on something. You went from the six to the eight of pentacles. All right, so you are gaining money or something like that, but it looks like you're, uh, I don't know, having fun with it or something like that. This is like frivolous spending or something. Uh, the Ace of Swords, yeah, the truth, yeah. So somebody, so yeah, this is like frivolous spending, but also being watched as well too. Uh, so I'm not too sure. Uh, let's see. We're gonna get some more messages. I'm not gonna speculate too much. Uh, but this is the end of a relationship is what I'm feeling like. What's going on here? Tr 
troll. Wow. So somebody is trolling you or somebody wants to be something or somebody is obsessed with somebody or something like that. Somebody is uh, obsessed with something, I'm, I'm feeling like. Or let's, let's read what troll is in this deck. I just got these cards not too long ago. Uh, let's see. Where is troll at? One second, y'all. Let me see. Damn. All right. It says, are you a necessary evil? Do you feel you must play devil's advocate? Or are you someone who hates themselves so much they feel they have to try to get others to feel the same way? If you answer yes to one or more of these questions, please, please seek help or therapy or get a hobby. So, yeah, I feel like somebody is obsessed with something. Somebody could be obsessed with doing spell work or something like that privilege yeah this <laughs> this is the energy of someone look it's three hands in, in in this in this specific card so i feel like somebody this this person is privileged here i guess or it's a privilege somebody's looking at so somebody is obsessed with uh possibly someone that's privileged as well but also the the energy of somebody saving it's like this person is crying on on this deck okay this person is crying and they're saving it in this in this coffee cup so this is like somebody collecting things for spell work or stuff like that uh, and photos as well too photos they, they want to so they can uh pray over this energy or something like that so this is what this is giving me troll and privilege all right let's read that we're gonna read privilege all right, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Did you did you manifest it, or did you have advantages over some over others from different so societies, racial, cultural, or economic backgrounds that give you a head start? <laughs> so also, this is saying, um, did you do the work? This is somebody not doing the work. This is somebody obsessed with trying to get something through possibly some some sort of spell work or something like that. I don't know. I just get the energy of somebody doing something all day, uh, day in, day out type energy. Uh, let's see. All right, so we're going to see what to watch out for. Uh, what's going on for Pisces and what, what should they watch out for? All right, what's going on with Pisces and what should they watch out for? Wow, look at that. It fell right on privilege. The world card. So what you should be looking out for is, uh, or what's going on as well too. But, but what you should be looking out for is the end of something here, but also a brand, a brand new start of something. So I feel like what's go or if, if this doesn't end, if this, you don't get out of this energy, you could be stuck in a cycle as well too. So uh, also, a lot of people are watching right now. The world card is there. Uh, the world card represents Earth energy, Knight of Cups. Yeah, more water energy. So, somebody, you want to, you you probably need to move. Look at that, the Page of Pentacles. If it, it fell out, it's kind of sideways. So I feel like you don't need to. What you need to be looking out for also is taking accepting offers from people. Ex ex accepting uh, money or some sort of um, I don't know anything look at that the five of pentacles is under underneath the deck so yeah I feel like if you accept any offers during this time that seem too good to be true just because you need I don't know, even if if you need you need the money I feel like right now during this time and un until uh, October. That's what that's that's what they're saying. You need to be. You need to watch out from who you accept offers from because it could lead you to uh, being out in the cold or homeless or um, yeah, without in the lack of money or something like that. All right, what else is here? All right, the moon card. Yeah, because it's a lot of illusions going on. So it's a lot of illusions. 
going on. Uh, so watch out for offers that seem confusing, okay? That you don't have enough information about as well, okay? Look at that, the Two of Cups. Yeah, especially your lover or something like that, or uh, a loved one, or somebody that's your other half, possibly a Leo. Knight of Wands, the devil. Ooh-wee, I feel like, yes, I feel like, I feel like you should refrain from <laughs> traveling to, to, to people and like having sex with them possibly. Or even uh, just just be cautious of doing, of getting caught up in something, okay? I just, the queen of swords. Yeah, it fell on the floor. I'm gonna put it back in the deck. But yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, some things you need to cut out or something like that. Or be, be, beware of, not doing the right thing as well too. Let me get let me get two more. Or I can get three more. Uh, the emperor is here. All right, so Aries energy. So something that somebody's trying to control something here. Somebody is trying to control a situation that has already ended possibly, or do something about it. Or it's not about how much money you have. It's about look at that. The high priestess in reverse. I just I just said that uh, this person could be doing spell work. So this is definitely somebody doing spell work. Somebody being over manipulative, and also uh, a dark witch here. So this is dark, definitely dark magic with the the moon, the high priestess in reverse, the emperor, the page of pentacles. Uh, yeah. So somebody is either trying to end you or end something, or something has ended. Like spell work has backfired or something like that. Uh, somebody because somebody was obsessed with doing something or some a cycle has ended or they're caught up in this illusion or something like that look at that the temperance is underneath the, the, the deck uh, so yeah this is to be to be balanced out or something is being balanced out or just to be fair the queen of cups wow <laughs> page of wands is on top of the deck so i feel like you need to do something new uh Five of Wands. Look at that. Five of Wands. Yeah, it's a lot of fighting going on right now. It's a lot of fighting going on right now. Six of Wands. So, yeah, like I said, you need to move. That's two sixes. Uh, and you just had the, um, yeah. Wow, look at that. The Queen of Swords, the Two of Wands, uh, the Three of Cups, and the World card. This is This is another World card. This is like the closing of a cycle. Um, it looks like if you can get away <laughs> or if you can, um, I don't know, it looks like you're gonna be, I'm not too sure. It looks like you're gonna be staying and, and doing something and starting something brand new or working this out or something. Or I'm not too sure what this really is. I just feel like it's a lot of uh, manipulation going on and fighting. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, confusing things going on uh and this is possibly due to like spell work backfire you know or things not working out this is like uh, effects of, a, of spell work or something like that so be careful what you do out there all right let's see what's the plan What's the plan for Pisces? Wow, the Page of Swords. So the plan is to um, get more information about something before you start doing it. And also, you need to watch your back as well, too, because somebody's looking looking right at you. Uh, look at that. The Eight of Cups is underneath the deck. You need to walk away from this or something like that. Definitely need to walk away. All right, what else is here? Wow, look at that. Wow, the King of Swords. And the Eight of Swords. So I feel like you're trapped in a situation or you feel like you can't get out of something because you have information on something, possibly. Um, this is saying that you may be like, I don't know, you may be dealing with a Virgo. This is giving me accessory energy. Uh, accessory to a crime or something like that, or... Uh, whatever, whatever. But I just feel like 
you're you're caught up in a situation where yeah look at that knight of knight of wands you're definitely caught up something is moving really fast really quickly so you don't really have much time to do something i feel like uh you just need to do the right thing what's the outcome Ooh, because somebody might go to jail look at that the ace of wands so the out so the outcome is that you may be starting something brand new uh starting something look nine of cups yeah you need to hold back holding back and starting something brand new and going the complete opposite way and also defending yourself or like being defensive towards stuff just just refuse the shit if you don't want to do it just don't do it wow look at that the eight of wands came out yeah it's a lot of eights here it was a lot of eights in the last reading it's a lot of communication and uh feeling like you're trapped or something like that it's eights here we have eight eight and then we have the six of pentacles and the six of wands uh yeah oh you know what i was thinking about the last reading i did it was a lot of eights in that reading too but all these readings seem like they've been tied together you got the king of wands underneath the deck yeah i feel like you need to take charge uh of your household or i don't know of you and your partner or something like that uh the higher font is here yeah so i feel like whoo the higher font and the two of swords so you have a, a major decision to make uh, regarding um this house or this apartment or something like that or wherever you live or wherever you share this uh whatever you have going on with your significant other um look at that the fool card wow you need to take a break a leap of faith in a brand new direction but you also need to watch your back too okay damn wow that's your energy the hangman look at that shit this is saying if you if you go in a new direction and do something brand new you'll thank yourself later or like you'll feel better immediately like you'll feel whole again or like you feel uh you'll feel back like yourself i'm feeling like yeah that's your energy wow look at that the high priestess too yes come on i feel like you intuitively know what to do i also feel like this is a a, a test of your intuition uh you're being tested right now to see if you are gonna go with your intuition and trust that with the unknown and what you don't know but i also what you feel and what you uh something like that is here uh i feel like you need to go, trust your intuition this is a, a a serious test to trust your intuition look at that judgment yes i'm not making this shit up man say look if you if you don't do something in a brand new direction or just take a, a leap of faith elsewhere yeah i feel like you're gonna reap reap the i guess the benefits or the rewards or the consequences that's that's what i'm trying to say the consequences from that <laughs> all right let's see we're gonna get one of these uh, let me um let me shuffle these. Wow. Wow, this says abundance. Uh, keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. Yes, you need to speak what it is exactly what you want in the universe. Uh, we have the runner here. We have <laughs> runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. I'm also feeling like somebody could be on the run or you need to you need to go you need to get away. Palm trees, stability, security, uh permanence, growth, endurance and flexibility. Yeah, you possibly need to go to somewhere where there's palm trees. Let's see. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional string along one night stand yeah you need to refrain from having one night stands right now as well too um because i feel like it's a major transformation going on a major cycle uh or it's just it's a major test right now especially uh during the gemini season period but especially uh when the moon is in in your sign as well I feel like that's when it starts, actually. Worth. Yes. 
This says, you have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. Yes, I feel like this is a whole lesson of self-worth as well, too. Um, is here. Signs. Wow, you pay attention to the signs, man. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. Yeah, you need to know that. So I feel like your intuition, that's a, a message from the divine. Yes, absolutely. So uh, to me, I have two, two spots where my intuition is activated. Uh, two known spots. Well, two spots that I pay attention to mostly. Uh, there's other spots, but your heart and your gut. Now, if you feel something in your gut, it's usually a, a bad feeling, okay? It's a, it's a bad, bad thing. But if you feel it in your heart space, then it's good. So you need to pay attention to that, okay? Um, all right, let's see. This is an alphabet deck. I'm gonna get 46 of these. All right, we have D for duck, cancer energy. G for guitars, God here. <laughs> we have T for train on the destined, which talks about being on the right path or on the destined, uh, on, yeah, on the destined path or on the right track. My bad. Uh, we have D for volcano, Taurus energy. Uh, y for yawn, which talks about boredom or something to do or a hobby or something. Wow, we just talked about hobbies. Uh, let's see. L for Lion Leo energy. All right, so TV is here. Uh, I don't know. Those are y'all's letters. All right, so we're going to get one of these and then we'll end it out. Give me, give me a message for Pisces. Wow, friendship. This says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Wow. This says service. I, I feel good when I can help others. Fear. <laughs> I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Wow. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yes. Uh, love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Yeah. Also, this is a this is a lesson of self love or seeing your worth as well too, and also going with your intuition. Believe it or not, all that shit goes hand in hand. All right. Under de underneath the deck, it says failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Wow. Yes, so thank y'all for tuning in, Pisces. Hopefully this helped y'all out in some type of way, and I'll see y'all next time.